acceptance. You know, I talked about this a little bit last week, but I have to bring it up again. You know, it's like a disease. I, I know I, I once talked about the Montefiore disease. No, not that one. Well, maybe it's, it's cross related because, you know, uh, Roxanne Montefiore always want to act like she want to be everybody's motherfucking friend and shit. Like, no, grandma, I don't want to be your motherfucking friend. But anyway, it's like these fighters are addicted to, and it, it kind of comes down to excuse, excuses, just more excuses, kind of like they want to be buddy, buddy so fucking much. And I'm like, why? Like, I understand that you don't want to like, like, this is your job, okay? You you don't walk around wanting to, like, shoot motherfuckers. Well, you may. I don't know. But hopefully you don't walk around wanting to shoot your coworkers. You know what I'm saying? When you get off the job and shit, you know. You know, you don't keep some under the glove compartment in case, you know, Becky bitch ass happened to, you know, run up on you at the wrong time. And then you shoot her and then she was trying to hand you your wallet. You know what I'm talking about? But, but what Savage is saying to you is... It's a job, you know, and I heard that old saying that, you know, some people live at their job and some people who have co-workers and, 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 and in this case, your co-workers are, are your enemy to a degree because you end up fighting a lot of these motherfuckers. Like, so why would you be trying to make friends with other fighters? Now, I didn't say you could not have a friend who is another fighter. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, why are you actively trying? Like, okay, put it this way. I understand that if you work with somebody in a certain camp, that you want to be on friendly terms and shit. You understand? But I don't know if you should go the extra mile, especially if they're in your weight class. Well, within the weight class, you're likely going to move up or move down to. Know what I'm talking about? Like, I just... Put it this way, like, look at this motherfucker right here, okay? Like, Hype Job. All right, Hype Job's a fake motherfucker anyway, okay? Unfortunately. She 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 just, she runs her mouth and, you know, she talks about, you know, being the baddest motherfucker in the room and, you know, she looking for room service, please. Like, she looking for a motherfucking handout, somebody to come and serve her you know, more bullshit for herself to believe. You feel me? Like she talks about being the baddest motherfucker in the room, but there's no room for motherfuckers who bullshit themselves. You know, at, at least not in the WMMA universe. Like I, I can't give you credit for, you know, for, for incomplete work, no credit for incomplete work, you know, calling yourself the motherfucking greatest and you're sitting here hugging in this image a motherfucker who is considered the greatest by a lot of people, you know. And, you know, you train with this person and this person embarrassed you because you thought, you know, you could go hard on her and sparring and you got sparked in sparring because you wanted to be a dumbass. And at the same time, time you're talking about how you know can't nobody beat you and you're going to be the greatest of all time like i don't know is that smart is that wise i, I wouldn't work out with a motherfucker who i plan to beat down one day you know and, and amanda that doesn't you know they don't train together anymore but the bottom line is why why is kayla saying all this dumb shit about how on one hand yeah I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm the one. I'm, I'm that motherfucker. And then, oh no, they're my friends. I respect them. Like, no, no, you don't respect them. You're a goddamn maniac. Okay, you're a fighter. You're not supposed to respect them. Not on such a level that you would sit there and accept defeat from them. Know what I'm talking about? Like. Like, I don't understand fighters. I don't understand fighters. I don't understand the shit. It makes no damn sense to me. You know, like Jen Jacek talking about how she knew Rose was going to win in the first round. And she's so happy. Like, you ain't happy for nobody, you punk-ass motherfucker. 
First of all, you're still delusional because you think what you did six, seven years ago mattered a day. That, that's the shit, you know. So Bojangle Check shouldn't be talking at all about friends, okay? Walking around, you know, trying to, you know, break Rose down. And look, I get it. It's a part of the fight game. But don't pretend to be a motherfucker friend. Y'all motherfuckers are not friends. It's just so fucking fake to me. Like, again, I mean, I'm sorry, Whaley, but, you know, you want to spend time with Rose and China and let's be friends. You know, this is your second title defense that you, you know, that you, you know, you were trying to defend your title a second time and it didn't happen. And it's like, well, why the fuck are you sitting there trying to like, I don't I get being civil, but like your mentality is all fucked up. It's all fucked up. It's crazy. That, that's why I fuck with Valentina. I mean, even Rose get bothers me a little bit with some of the shit that she say in reference to want to be cool with motherfuckers. I, I, but look, but this is why I love, this is what I love about Valentina, okay? Valentina is a straight up fucking savage. She is platinum savage status on this fucking channel. Know what I'm saying? She ain't talking about being friends with nobody. She said at the end of the life, like, I want to fight all of the girls. I want smoke with everybody. I want to, I'm going to fuck everybody up and then we can be friends. You know, that's just savage. That's what I want to see. You know, I don't want to see no more shit like this. Amanda Nunes. And I will say this, Amanda Nunes will fight you. She don't give a fuck whether you're her friend or not. She about business. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I don't like the way she went about this shit. I mean, it shows you that she could be quite cold blooded, smiling and shit, saying, hey, this is my home girl. And you just fucking broke her motherfucking eye socket. I mean, some friend shit with friends like you, Amanda Nunes, who the fuck need an enemy? Know what I'm talking about? So fuck all that friendship shit. Like, you got to be a savage, okay? If somebody you cool with, if they're helping you and, you know, let your, but by and large, I think in the MMA and especially in WMMA, because I understand you're getting your feels, you're getting your feelings and shit. Have your friends and family for friends and shit and fuck all that other shit, you know, just my thoughts. You know, because. You end up with situations like this where you have <laughs> a motherfucker who taking pictures with a motherfucker, right? 